Okay, I have walked back here to where I knew trout lilies come up, and I've been talking about this, and I think it was in our first uh, Walk in the Woods video. I talked about that trout lily, lily grew back here, but I hadn't seen any yet. It's just now coming up. So I'm going to show you. It doesn't have the flowers on it yet, so I'm going to show the leaves of the trout lily. I didn't bring anything to dig with. If I can dig one up, if not, I'll come back. But let's show. These are the trout lilies. It is this leaf here with the spots on it. That is trout lily. There's a whole bunch of them starting to come up. And I think... I don't know how long it'll be before the little flowers come up on them. I'll wait until the flower comes up on them because then the bulb will be bigger, I believe. Oh, let me move some of these sticks. There's a whole bunch of them. They're all over back here. Uh, last time I came back here, I didn't see them. No, get out of the way, kitty. But there it is. It's one stem. One stem, one leaf. And a, a little flower will come up from that. That is trout lily. Now, if I can find something, I wonder if I can get a stick big enough to dig. Shoot. I'm going to try to dig this up. Oh, nope, not that stick. All right, may have to come back. And... Here's a bunch of elderberry all around my feet, just all over. Elderberry just all over the place, all around me here. Elderberry. And trout lily. <laughs> anyway. Okay, so I didn't have to go all the way to the house. You never know what you're gonna find. I found a bone. I'm gonna try to dig with this little bone. Don't know what kind of bone that is. There was two of them just like, oh, jawbone. I didn't even flip it over. There's a tooth on it. <laughs> a jawbone with a tooth on it. Anyway, there was another piece over there. It's old. I'm not worried about catching anything. It's an old piece. Uh, but I'm fixing to try to use this to dig up one of these trout lilies. So, so as I kind of suspected... It doesn't have a very big bulb, and they don't get very big anyway, but it should be bigger than that. But there's my trout lily. I went ahead and dug one up just to see how that bulb was. But you would be able to eat the whole thing. Uh, usually the bulbs are the best part, and a lot of people will take and uh, use these bulbs in like, you know, whatever, soups or stir fries or whatever. Um, so I am going to wait until they flower. And uh, then the bulbs should be just a little bit bigger. They're not big anyway. It takes a whole lot of them to uh, get much out of. But uh, there you go. That's what I've been waiting for is the trout lilies to come up. And they don't last a long time out here. They'll be here for maybe a month, I guess. And then, uh, and then you won't see them anymore. All right, folks. So I'm back down here where I found all the trout lilies. Uh, they grow all over this down here. This is a, um, the creek runs right through here. And this is a low spot. It does flood sometimes. Not a whole lot, but occasionally uh, it floods. Uh, so I've come back down here with my knife and my bag. And I'm going to dig up a few of these and take home. Um, you could eat the whole plant, but the... Um, the bulb is what I like the best. Now, the um, uh, all of these seem to be just one single leaf, but um, they will get two leaves on them sometimes. And what that is, um, older older plants will have two leaves sometimes and a bloom. And I'm going to put a picture of that right here. this now i found this last year 
and took a picture of it and went and looked it up to find out what it was. And uh, I had a little research to do. After a little research, I found out what this is. Um, tooth wart. Um, there's another name that goes in front of that. Cutter, cutter tooth wart. Uh, let me get the right name. <clears throat> well, there it is. Cut leaf tooth wart. Nave Kitty. That is cut leaf tooth wart. And it is edible. Even the rhizomes in the ground are edible. And the whole plant, whole plant is edible. I am just going to, nah, we'll dig some up. But the top is a little bit like uh, peppery tasting, I believe it said. I have not tried this. I found it last year looked it up it took me a while to look it up and by the time i figured it all out it was gone it didn't last too long it was gone so i decided to try it this year now oop, there's the little rhizomes boy that came out of the ground easy but i dropped one but anyway there's a little rhizome the whole plant's edible i'm gonna stick that in my bag and see if i can get that rhizome there it is there's the little rhizome so supposedly the rhizome tastes like horseradish. And then the top, the leaves are not as strong, but the root or rhizome is stronger and tastes like horseradish. And uh, so I may try a little bit of that too, but mostly I'm looking for this top to put in my, see if this comes up as easy, nope. That one didn't come up as easily as the other one. That one didn't either. So we're just getting tops, that's fine. I'm gonna leave it for another time. All right, that's fine, just a few tops. Oh, there's a jewelweed. There's a baby jewelweed. That's a good thing. Love my jewelweed for my soaps. Anyway, there's a little bit more up there. And if I look around, I'll probably find some more. But this is at the bottom. Oh, I see more. All up through there. Oh, all up through there where the blood root is. Huh. Good to know. So it comes up the same time as the blood root and the trout lilies early spring. I don't know why that, oh, that ain't coming up easy either. I don't know why that other one came up so easy. But I don't need a whole lot of it. There's another one. And there's more up through there. I see more way up through there. But this is enough for me for today. We're just going to throw a little bit in the salad and taste of it and, and uh, show you. And uh, I see some of our blood root on up there. I don't know if I can focus in on that. See the blood root up there? It's a bunch of blood root all the way down through there. And that's where this is growing, is at the bottom of the blood root ravine. Whew. All right, let's take this to the house and make a salad. Okay, guys, I'm back here walking around in the woods. And uh, Teresa, she was back here earlier. And uh, she had found a patch of these trout lilies. Hers was young. Uh, I'm going to show you what the older ones look like when they get older they will come out with two stems and will have a flower on them this one has a white flower uh, they do have yellow flowers also there is a patch of them right over here this here is the one with the yellow flowers actually very pretty flowers so that is the older ones um, 
as you can see, there's young ones down in here that's just got one stem coming up. There's another one with the white flower. Yeah, for some reason, I cannot find. Oh, there's another one with a white flower. He's got a white flower. So, that there is what the older ones look like. So, beautiful and edible. So we're fixing to wash this up and I'm gonna get out some other stuff I have in the refrigerator already and make us a salad. Okay, I am just um, soaking these in good cold water to keep them good and fresh and crisp while I get everything else ready. I think I'm gonna go down to <clears throat> the um, um, front of the property, over to the side of the front of our property. I noticed a whole slew of beautiful uh, wild purple violets and I think I'm gonna run down there and get a few of those to throw in here so uh, they are they have like a little bit of a sweet flavor and uh, are really really nutritious and good for you also okay so I went and got me some violets just some tops off of uh, purple wild violets got a bunch of those I went ahead and grabbed, grabbed some tops off of some uh, uh, dead nettle, purple dead nettle. Grab some tops of those. And um, also some, uh, I saw some chickweed down there. So I grabbed a few little pieces of chickweed. So I'm just gonna use what I've got here, which is some baby spinach. I had some bagged baby spinach in the refrigerator. I don't have any regular lettuce just yet. I've got some in the garden growing. I will be growing. I just seeded some in the garden. I also planted some uh, cabbage, bok choy, kale, Swiss chard, radishes. So all of that will be going in a salad for too long. So uh, I'm just breaking up a little bit of baby spinach. You don't want to eat these wild things. You could, definitely could eat them all by themselves if you were used to that, but you don't want to start out just eating a bunch of wild uh, stuff like that. Um, I, I'm more used to it because I've been eating that for, well, really all my life because my dad used to do some of this stuff, but uh, the past four or five years, I've really gotten back into it and have done it more than, you know, it'd been a long time. So, there's my spinach. I'm gonna put some cold slaw in here just because that's what I got. I don't have uh, any regular lettuce, like I said. So, I'm putting something in here as kind of a, a, a filler to not just be eating straight wild plants. Uh, you wanna start out slow. So, I would first start out with, oh yeah, let's throw it everywhere. I would first start out with adding, uh, maybe add some wild purple violets to a salad and maybe throw in a little bit of uh, a dandelion or a dead nettle. Just throw a little bit into your salad or your soup at first until you get used to eating wild stuff. Um, if you're used to it, then you're fine. But I would still mix it with something unless you've been eating a lot of that stuff. Just like me, I've, 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 I've ate it, and I try to keep my body used to that, but it's early spring, and I haven't eaten much of it yet, so I'm going to go slow and mix it in here. I'm putting a little cheese in here, too, just to give it something. I don't know. <laughs> just going to break these up in here. Put some of these violets in here. There's my chickweed, or... Yeah, chickweed, let's get that in there. The violets, I don't have to break up really. And I'm just gonna mix a little bit of this in here. There's some of that tooth wart. I just wanna break all that up real good so I'm not getting too much. 
Got to make sure I get some of this trout lily bulb in there because that's really good. I want to get plenty of that trout lily, um, especially the bulb. Those are good. Oh, I got my salad together. Whoops. All right. It's falling around. There you go. There's lots of flowers in there. They're just scattered out. So there you go. And I'm going to try it out. I like Caesar dressing. You can put whatever you want. I like a vinaigrette too sometimes, but I love Caesar dressing. So I'm going to put just a little bit of Caesar dressing on it. I'm not going to put any salt, and I'm not putting much dressing because I want to taste those flavors. And, and I did take a bite. What did I do with it now? I did take a bite of one of the uh, little uh, rhizomes of the uh, toothwort, and it does have kind of a um, horseradish flavor, but mild. Okay, eat it. It's like a horseradish. Very mild. Okay. Now, let me get some of this. And these, that's the, um, a piece of the, um, trout lily. Break that apart. I don't need that whole thing at one time. Very um, cucumbery is the only way I can describe it. Mm. Mm. So good. There you go. Try this out. Mm -hmm.